Hey guys, it's Kristen with another chance resale. Sorry, my camera angle is a little wobbly, but I'm holding the iPad. Um, I just want to make a quick intro for this video. Um, I am doing something a little different and I'm showing you the updated booth tour of my second antique booth that I opened on July 1st. And also we're doing a sale. So if anyone's interested in anything that you see in my booths, I'm offering 30% off um, anything over $20. And um, if you want anything under $20, I'm sure I can come up with a little bit of a discount. Maybe we'll do 10% off. Um, I do show almost every price tag, um, but if you see something that I didn't show price tag on, I can definitely get you the price. I have a spreadsheet of every item in my antique booths. So um, this is also a sale video as well as a tour. And the shipping is obviously based on the weight of the items and your location and of course, good old USPS shipping prices. Um, I will ship international. I've never done a hard goods sale. So uh, this is a first for me. So um, I have sold like little little things here and there um, through YouTube videos like hard goods related but I figured I would open up my antique booths to you guys even though you can't physically get to them so I hope you enjoy and uh, we'll see you in the next one okay guys so we're coming up on my second booth and I might cut in and out with the narration I'll just show you a couple things. Well, I'll show you everything. These are lamps and they work. The, this tray has big light handles and feet. Stoneware set. This is really cool. This is a baby carriage from the early 1900s. You can push or pull it. And it's great as a plant stand. Really cool piece of history. There we go. So I'm not so in your face.
beautiful Fenton. Really cool antique vintage photo album. Love that mirror. All this Fenton marked down to 20. Really cool owl decanter. A three set of planters. Spaghetti dog. It's in a pond. Only fifteen bucks. This is Fitz and Floyd. I got these so people can paint on them. Love that lamp. It works. This one too. All my rotary phones work. This vintage iron works. Ellie Smith. These wood coasters. This was made in the USSR. This super cool Art Deco lamp works. Lion bookends. Really cool vintage planters. Really cool old matchbook match holder. Little Asian tied box, 12 bucks. All these books. I have 
have some purses in here. Some Harley jackets, vests. More purses, but you guys have already seen all those. <laughs> Guitar. Over here on this table, we have this really cool wine opener that works. I'm not shipping this, by the way. <laughs> Some Tanala. Flower frog vase. Ray Dunn mug. Really cool. No lazy season platter. We have a wine barrel top. All my little miniatures. All the prices on the miniatures are going to be firm. Anything under $20 because um, I'm not gonna make any money, basically. <laughs> but all these range from like five to $10. Hi again. This is a lot of miniatures and smaller items. So if you're interested in anything, you can let me know. I'll let you know prices on it. Up there I have some perfume bottles, cat, all my nesting dolls. And we have a little bit of a nautical theme up here. A bunch of made in Brazil doggies. I don't know what that tapping is. If you hear it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Some baby toys. All my chalkware. That was 20. That, this is a rooster lamp. It works. It is beautiful. A little lidded teacup. This opens. They're talking about stuff that's mine. <laughs> this uh, Victorian wall pocket. I love mirrors, if you can't tell. This is really nice, I love this. Memoriage face. I have a bunch of jadeite. I have these sets and I also have um, dishes. These are 20 bucks a set. Millefiori shoe I have. This owl mug is really cute.
Here's all my Balik. guys I contemplated keeping them I gotta fill this area a little bit better figurines this really cool business card holder celluloid jewelry box coin um, cone incense burner I think that was 14 this really pretty jewelry box these are five each they're full never opened sustainable planter have some Murano be careful with Murano make sure it's actually Murano don't just call anything that's glass Murano <laughs> do your research some percolators wait this is not mine ay 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 <laughs> happens all the time Okay, so, and then on this side quickly, sorry if I made anybody dizzy. I have this really pretty vase. Vintage garbage can. Oh, uh, where's the price on that? 25, longer burger. And I'll show you the other booth in a second. So here's my first booth, which is, try not to make you dizzy, right in the front here, the front door is over there. The cash register is over there. So you can go around that way and all the way around because my booth is down there. Last one on the same side. And then people can exit this way. And I have all this stuff now. This is my original booth that's like super packed. Um, and I'm trying to get the other one like that as well. So if you see anything, can it let me know. I have these really cool pre-World War II dolls. Really cool angelfish book ends. We have some swung vases back there. You guys saw that on my Facebook page. You can also join that page. I'll leave a link in the description. It's nothing crazy. I just post when I upload videos and stuff. And you guys can talk amongst yourselves, ask questions to each other, like jewelry, you know, whatever, stuff like that. I bring jewelry in here that sometimes doesn't sell in videos and in this booth I have a lot of um, a, a ton of salt and pepper shakers I have wood decoys license plates I have a lot of blown glass figurines here a lot of the ladies that work here and have booths here are here so if anybody talks to me, 
I might have to pause it for a second. <laughs> but hopefully they'll see that I'm recording and they'll kind of wait a second. Little horse shelf sitter, he's 19. I love this guy, I can't believe nobody bought him. He's a, he's a hand puppet, he's 30, he's vintage. If anyone collects spoons, that's a little spoon holder collector thing. A little planter, 14. Another little planter. More salt and pepper shakers. My dad actually made that. And he had a couple other pieces in here that sold. There's my business cards. They have sugar shakers, they have that cool cat, some mugs. Gotta fill in this shelf a little bit more. Some Avon stuff still in the box. Oh, 10 and 10 on those. We have a clown and a troll. I had two troll dolls, one sold. This one's 25. And the clown is 49. He's really cool. We have this stuff down here a horse door stopper, a carousel horse, 25. I have a couple antique signs. You saw one in the other booth. It gets so dusty in here. I really should get rid of this carpet. This one's only 10. Then I have this one here. Oops, sorry. This one's 15. These really pretty big elephants. I have a lot of animal figurines. I do really well with animal figurines. That one's 10. I have all these little minis. And you guys can always pause and look at things and go back. I just don't want to take too, too long because there's a lot of people walking around and as you heard, um, you know, people come in and out of the booth so I don't really want to get too many conversations on <laughs> film. This is a little perfume bottle still in the box. 20 bucks with some um, giraffes on it. That's Blue Mountain Pottery. Here's a little pie bird, 20. So I can always tell you guys prices. I have a spreadsheet with everything. It's a bleak clock, it works. It's a letter opener. Really cool. Let me go back to this front table here where I have a bunch of um, planters since, you know, it's the summer and I had this, I changed this all around and add more planters to it as they sell because it's the season. So I have a, a lot of different planters, vintage. These are the Bakelite knives that you guys saw in a recent video. They're all 10 a piece and the big one's 20. McCoy planters, I mean McCoy cookie jars. I have a bunch of purses, but you guys have seen all these purses. They were just in videos that didn't sell. The kissing salt and pepper shaker bikers are 18. This is kind of a scary place for this. What's that big space for up there? Uh, <clears throat> okay, and then over here, on this side, we have a voodoo doll. He's 65. This is a salt and, pe salt and pepper shaker set, and this top comes off, and you can put um, toothpicks under there. I have 
mini hens on nests. Some really cool stuff down here. More jewelry that doesn't sell in my videos. We have brass um, bookends. All these are like uh, spice spice jars at eight a piece. See how they have the little original tag? I'm cinnamon. <laughs> and that is this one's an oil oil and vinegar decanter. Have some left in eggs. This is for hors d'oeuvres, really cool. I've had this since like the beginning of time. I, I don't know why no one bought it. I think it's really cool. So here's um, like more of like manly type items. Oh, um, babe, go check the camera in the last booth. It's not even facing anything. It's like up in the ceiling. Uh, we have cameras because people steal here and that's not nice. Um, so we have an app that's connected to our phone and this one actually moves with you. Can you see it? I'm moving my arms back and forth. Um, okay, anyway, so here's some stuff in the, we call it the Mantique section. Um, this we just cleared because we have to make room. Uh, Kyle has a couple things that he's going to be putting in. Uh, he just ran to go grab them. But we have like all this stuff. You know, and I, I throw in my stuff here and there too, of course. <laughs> um, but this is mostly like more like boy type stuff. Mostly. It's starting to slowly change back over to regular stuff. <laughs> There's some stuff on the walls. My mom actually picked out those two. They are um, painted on vel uh, felt or velvet, something like that. Um, I do really well with salt and pepper shakers in my booth. This is actually a salt and pepper shaker. Here's one piece and then the other piece is the biker. I mean the bike. My mom picked that out too. I did get a couple things that you've seen from subscribers. So thank you guys. I love supporting anyone that I can while I have the money. <laughs> when I have the money I should say. If you guys uh, want to know pricing on any salt and pepper shakers, just let me know. They range from 10 to 14 a pair. This is a little crooked. Let me fix this. Okay. I love this little set. It's so cute. And these, I'm surprised these didn't sell. Pineapple, salt and peppers, so cute. Some wall pockets. We have more. Oh, this is my whole salt and pepper shaker set. Little area. Some app bands. Then we have this section. My mom actually gave me this. It was in her house. I hope I hope nobody breaks it. <laughs> nice stangle tray. Black glass little bowl in tray. I feel like nobody ever looks down here. All this stuff has been here. It's like people don't know how to get on their knees. I like to look at everything. <laughs> that salt and pepper set. These are salt and peppers. You know what, let's move this guy over and put these together. I'm always constantly fixing everything. I'm here every weekend and I feel like I'm a mom cleaning up after her kids every time I come in here because people look at things and they move things and they don't put it back. <laughs> Here I have some aloe plants that you can buy. And if you notice, <laughs> it says that it comes with a turtle, right? Well, there's no turtle because somebody stole it. 
I like I just can't they all come with turtles planter with turtle and there's no turtle so someone steals them it's really nice right I love that salt and pepper set I have these little guys down here I should say little girls and a really cool elephant plant stand and check this out and then I have just some stuff you know around here and there around the mall but this is just a little video to show you guys my booths and like the update and do a little sale. So again, if you're interested in anything, email me another chance resale one at gmail.com. And oh, I forgot I have some stuff over here. This is my jewelry box here. With the little drawers. And it's 25. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.